uh, which said that um, like when uh, Allah had created the garden of uh, Eden he put in Adam and Eve there and uh, but because they broke the rule as in they had the fruit of uh, I don't know what it is they had the fruit uh, which was forbidden uh, they were banished from the garden uh, they were thrown out and uh, because of which it was told that uh, like you have to work for your daily bread you need to work and only then will you earn to have your uh, daily bread likewise it was also told that uh, women they would uh, their pain in pregnancy would increase it's like till now the same thing is happening we have to work hard we have to struggle we have to do everything necessary to earn a daily bread and uh, the same thing with the women like they are dying in pregnancy their pain is increased uh, why is it that uh, if allah himself had punished them so badly till date uh, they are like with the same punishment how is it that it is an example for others to forgive other people when allah himself has not forgiven or guide me right sister that's a very good question she rightly said that what you're quoting sister is about the bible what you're saying is mentioned in the bible that adam and eve may allah be pleased with them when they were in the garden of eden they disobeyed the commandment of almighty god it's mentioned in the bible and it's mentioned in genesis chapter number 3 verse number 23 that almighty god punished them and he threw them out of the garden and almighty god says in genesis chapter 3 verse number 16 that you women because you disobeyed god you shall give birth to children in pain and your desire shall be that of the husband so according to the bible pregnancy is a curse on the woman this is what you're quoting is the bible and i agree with you that how can god not forgive in christianity the full blame in the bible is put on the woman eve 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 may allah be pleased with her in quran if you read there is not a single place in the quran where the blame is put only on eve the blame is equally put on adam and eve both may allah be pleased with them if you read in the quran it's mentioned in surah araf chapter number 7 verse number 19 to 27 that adam and eve may allah be pleased with them both of them they disobeyed god both of them they repented and both were forgiven the blame is put equally on them there is not a single verse in the quran where the blame is only put on eve may allah be pleased with her but there is a verse in the quran in surah taha chapter number 20 verse number 121 which says that adam peace be upon him he disobeyed god so there is one verse which speaks only about adam peace be upon him but as a whole if you analyze the quran puts the blame on both of them adam and eve both of them may allah be pleased with them in the bible the blame is only put on women and because of that almighty god says you shall bear children in pain and your desire will be that of the husband so pregnancy according to the bible is a curse but if you read the quran pregnancy is not a curse pregnancy uplifts the woman allah says in the quran in surah nisa chapter 4 verse number 1 respect the womb that bore you further the quran says in surah luqman chapter number 31 verse number 14 and surah ahqaf chapter number 46 verse number 15 that we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents in travel upon travel did the mother bore you and in pain did she give you birth so here we realize that the quran says that we have to respect your parents especially your mother and our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it's mentioned in sahih bukhari volume number 8 in the book of adab chapter number 2 hadith number 2 a man approaches prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and asks him that who deserves the maximum love and companionship in this world so the prophet replies your mother the man asked after that too the prophet again says your mother the man asked after that too again the prophet says your mother the man asked after that too then for the fourth time the prophet says your father that means 75% three fourth of the love and companionship goes to your mother 25% one fourth goes to the father in short mother gets the gold medal she gets the silver medal as well as the bronze medal the father has to be satisfied with the mere consolation prize so these are the teachings of islam in islam 
pregnancy uplifts the woman and i agree with you once almighty god has forgiven the human beings how can you keep on punishing them so this is the difference between islam and christianity sister so are you convinced with the answer yes definitely so do you want to accept islam now yes do you believe that there's one god yes i do do you believe jesus is god no do you believe prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger yes i do is anyone forcing you to accept islam no are you doing out of your own free will yes are you doing out of your own conviction yes is there anyone giving you a bribe no <laughs> inshallah so it's in arabic and you can repeat it okay ashhadu ashhadu allah allah ilaha ilaha illa allah illa allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa rasuluhu wa rasuluhu i bear witness i bear witness i bear witness that that there is no god there is no god but allah but allah and i bear witness and i bear witness that that prophet muhammad prophet muhammad is is the messenger the messenger and servant of allah and servant of allah mashallah you are a muslim and i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he guide you and help you guide your family members also and to give you the best in this world as well as in the next life and inshallah grant you jannah